Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. Pearl is out here with her frisbee, hoping that Dennis is going to see her and come and join. So we may be having dog frisbee, but my flowers have grown so tall, I don't think you'll be able to see it, even if he could, does come out and throw it. Oh, good morning, good morning. So yesterday, the main thing I did, I did before I did my vlog, so you already know about it, which was my meeting with my lawyer friend. It was such a relief. He sent me some paperwork um, because, of course, besides the whole executor thing, Dennis and I have been reminded that we have not made any wills, and at our age, that's foolish. So we are going to be doing that in the middle of all this process, thinking about what we want to do and having things organized for the kids. Cheers. So, so yes, so then I read a book and I forgot, I was going to look up the name of the author and I can't remember what it is, but the character is Cameron Winter. And it's the type of character I've been drawn to lately and I don't know what it says about me or my feelings about the world. <laughs> but Cameron Winter is like a former spy assassin guy. Who now goes around, you know, recognizing oddities and in events and, uh, you know, battling evil. But his day job is now is a uh, English professor. So I have read three of these books and I don't know if there are any more. I don't think so. I think there might be a new one coming out in a few months, but it was like $15 to pre-order it on ebook, and I decided not to do that. But anyway, these are the same kind of characters as like Reacher and, you know, former guys who can do everything and whatever, and then go around and make things right. Apparently I'm drawn to that these days. I think you can tell something about the psychology of an age by looking at their mass entertainment, the movies, you know. I mean, it's hard to know, you know, in this day and age, whether it's psychology driving things or something else, but, oh, I'm yawning. Keep yawning. But I don't know, all these Marvel movies and everything might be significant. Yep, there they go. Uh, you can barely see her because I my flowers are so big. <laughs> she loves that frisbee man. She loves that. So anyway, that's I read I read a Cameron Winter book. That's the character's name, not the author. Yesterday, and I watched the last episode of the main storyline of Lupin. I had stopped the night before, right before bed, and before the last episode, and uh, I had a hard time going to sleep. I, was, I guess I was wound up. So I watched that, and I decided for some reason that I cannot explain, and this is what I do a lot, I did not start the third season, essentially, of Lupin, which starts a new storyline. Um, and I don't know why, but I didn't. And I ended up surprising myself and started watching a series on Netflix. It used to be regular TV, I guess, but maybe not. Maybe it's a Netflix original called The Diplomat about a woman who was expecting to go and be the ambassador in Kabul and help you know, the the withdrawal from Afghanistan, I think. And anyway, she suddenly gets diverted and is the ambassador in London. And uh, anyway, I was this, I don't know why I started watching it because it doesn't sound like something I'd be that interested in. I don't like to watch dramatizations of politics necessarily um, 
But I actually watched a few episodes of that, and it, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed her character a lot. Um, and, you know, I enjoyed some of the sidekicks, too. So, um, I, I might find myself watching more of that. I don't know how many seasons there are or whatever, but it's called The Diplomat. I didn't... I recognize, like, her, you know sort of number two guy who, you know, is helping her navigate <clears throat> the London. Um, he looks very familiar to me, but I don't know what I have seen him in. But anyway, that's what I did yesterday. And I did not pick up my knitting, which makes me a little sad to think about. And I didn't straighten up my da dad's, pa mom's paperwork. And I didn't paint. So I have a litany of things that I didn't do. <laughs> but I read a whole book and watched three or four episodes of TV on TV. So, you know, and chilled. Because I am chilling. You know, I am trying to just relax and feel my feels and let myself, you know. So I was kind of by myself last night because Aura went up early and Dennis had D and D at his friend's house, so it was just me, just chilling in front of my TV. So there we go. Oh, that reminds me, I've got to tell Aura. Gary texted me. Gary is Dennis's brother. Texted me to, to say the Penn State game is on TV today, this afternoon, and my mother-in-law might be very interested in that. Big Penn State fans here. Um. Well, in the family. Dennis and I are not sports fans of any kind. <laughs> but she might be interested in watching the football game. Gary reminded me. He's very good about reminding us about things she might want to watch. So I need to be sure and talk to her about that. But meanwhile, I don't know why I thought about that. Meanwhile, so my litany of things I didn't do yesterday is quite long. In fact, it could be infinite, right? Because I only did a few things, and there are an infinite number of things to be done. So I need to stop thinking like that. Back in the olden days when I was a Weight Watchers leader, I was a Weight Watchers leader at one point in my life. I don't know. If I, I haven't mentioned that lately. Um, People used to come in, you know, when they get weighed and you have a little talk, a little conversation. How was your week? You know, you can take that however you want. <laughs> and I don't know how many people would come and say, oh, I went to uh, an event, you know, a birthday party, uh, this or that. And I didn't eat the this and I didn't eat the that and I didn't eat the this and I didn't eat the that. I think like, that's great. What did you eat? <laughs> the list of things you didn't eat is you know, infinite. <laughs> so the things I didn't do is infinite. But I don't think any of them were really urgent. Any of the things I didn't do. But I do want to try my new paints out and um, straighten up the table a little bit. And Peter, my lawyer um, friend, did send some PDFs for me to take a look at, both about Dennis and me writing will, and also, you know, sort of checklists and things to think about in terms of my mom's estate. So I will print those up this weekend. Oh, happy uh, Labor Day weekend, everybody. It's official now. I mean, I said it yesterday, but it was Friday yesterday. Today's Saturday. Tomorrow is the birthday parties, and so I will be seeing family tomorrow, and that will be getting lots of hugs, and I'm sure, and it will be very nice, and yeah. But I need cards at least. Either I'll make cards, or I'll go out and buy some cards, and put little invitations in the cards that I make to invite them to the King of Prussia Ball with Nana. Mommy can come too. I'll let them know that. 
think Allison wants to come. She's welcome. Anyway, that's what I have to do today. Prepare for tomorrow and um, contact Kim. Kim's going to come and sit with her mom and the dogs while we're out and about. Laura's having trouble getting around a little bit and she can't really fend for herself in terms of food and drinks. So, and since we're not going to put the dogs in the kennel for the afternoon, um, she needs somebody here with her as she's walking around because the dogs are big. We spot her. We don't, you know, we don't let her move around downstairs in the dog's territory without somebody here to protect her from the love <laughs> of the big dogs. So my plan for today is to play around a little bit with those paints and walk the dogs. And I'm not sure that I have anything else in my plan. Maybe watch a little more TV. Maybe I'll pick up my knitting. That would be nice. I would love to get my knitting mojo back. I There was a thread on Twitter that I saw today. Like, what are your suggestions for things that you can do while watching the news that is depressing, hard to take. And I just answered with one word, knitting. You should be knitting. And I should be knitting too. It's good for the soul. So I need to keep that in mind. I it, Partly it's habit. I got out of the habit of picking up my knitting when I sat down. So, But it is right there and I will. I didn't realize she had come over here and dropped the frisbee right next to me. She gave up on me, took it back inside. <laughs> Go convince Dennis. Anyway, oh, lots going on with some of you people health wise. I'm sending all my healing vibes. Good luck with tests coming up. Good luck with surgeries coming up. Good luck with people recovering. Please, please, please. I hope you're feeling my great healing vibes and I hope they work. Please take good care of yourselves. You're so precious to me. Please take good care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay safe.